So it's a rainy day here, but Tesla update 2022 4.5 is out now. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what's new. So as you can see, it's a horrible rainy day here in Manchester, but I wanted to jump out into the car to show you what's new in this brand new update 2022 0.4.5. Now I'm a little bit late to the party and I know some people have got this over the last week and my update has only just come through on my car. Somehow it just works out like that sometimes. So let's go through these new updates. Now the first one is the regen braking in autopilot. Now what this is going to do, the car is actually going to allow autopilot to use the regen braking at low speeds. So this should really improve how your car handles the kind of stop and start features within traffic. You know, at the moment, if you use autopilot when you're stuck in traffic, you may feel that the car is actually a little bit more sudden when it comes to the, the, the braking because it's not using that regen like we would. So I'm gonna test that out in a second. Next up is the car colorizer. Now this is a brand new feature where Tesla is allowing you to change the color as it's displayed within your car. So I'll jump in in a moment and show you how that works. And then finally, we've got save dash cam clips. Now this was actually here before. This is something that Tesla have removed. So it's nice to know that you can now add this. We can drag and drop the dash cam clips app into the, the dock here on the bottom of the screen. And then we can now again record dash cam clips as we're driving, which is really cool. Now, next up, I'm gonna show you something that they don't actually mention in the release notes. And it's that they've added back some of the icons to the car that they removed in version 11. Now, if you saw my version 11 update that you can see by clicking up here, you'll know that overall I was quite happy with the update, but I was a bit annoyed they had removed some of the features from the screen and buried them uh, within menu. So what you can do now, if you're in park, you can see we've got our driver profiles back here. If you have no phone reception, they brought back the LTE reception or Wi-Fi signal section. So you can see that without going into the menus first. So that's really good to see. Now, first of all, before we get driving in the car, let's test out this car colorizer. Now to get to this in the quickest way, I think if you go to software down here, just tap that. And then you can see next to your car, you've got this little color icon here. So I'm gonna tap that. And as you can see, this brings up the car colorizer. So we've got some options here. We've got a color wheel right here, so we can slide this around to uh, kind of select the color we want. So if I want to match my kind of jumper that I'm wearing today, yeah, we can get up there and then we can drag the second box here. And you can see, if we look at the car on the right, it reflects and shows that color, which is pretty cool. But let's drag, let's drag it back to a black. Let's just say I want to make the car look more metallic. I can do that. And it doesn't make a huge amount of difference, but you can see the car looks more metallic or we can add a matte look and that takes off all of the shine on the car. So maybe if we change the car to maybe a red, you might see this a little bit more clearly. Let's do that. So let's just do this sort of ready pink color. Let's go on the solid. Actually it doesn't look that solid, but uh, solid. You've got metallic, which you can really see does look metallic and quite shiny or you've got this there. So let's just say if I did want the car to be red and I just want to see how that would look, I can add this paint type in here, add that as a color option. And then if I wanna go back and forward, let's just say we had another one here, let's add a, a purple color. Looks like a bit of a Jack Macy Walsh car. Uh, we can actually go between these. So you can actually save a few in it. So even if you just wanna do this for fun, you can go between the red, the purple and the black and this will display as you're driving now you can't change this whilst you're driving but you can change this before you go in the car so it's just a fun way of maybe seeing what your car could look like or if you just get bored of seeing the car color that you own you can change that or again if you've wrapped your car or resprayed your car you can now make it look exactly like the wrap that you've got so i might play around with that and uh, have a different color car depending on my mood so next up is dash cam clips so to add this all you need to do is go to your app drawer and then drag the app into your dock so you may or may not know this but simply hold down any app and then you can drag it into your dock now what's a bit annoying with version 11 here is that you can still only add four apps and you can't drag it over this side it's for recent apps only still so if you pop that in there when you are driving along if you want to record a dash cam clip all you have to do is tap that button there now because you can only have four apps here i'm still going to stick to the honk method which is honking your horn and that will record a clip or you can use voice controls and say record that and it will do the same thing but it is nice that tesla have added this in here but now let's go test out this new autopilot regen <laughs>
Okay, so something very, very strange we've just noticed as we're going out to test out the Autopilot Regen is that they've moved the heated steering wheel icon. Now, I'm not sure if this is a bug. Let me know in the comment section below if you see this in the same position. But when you go to your heater settings now, rather than the heated steering wheel being along the top or even being on the steering wheel itself, it's now where the um, iPhone wireless chargers are, which is really, really strange. So let me know if you see that in your Tesla Model 3 and let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so we are now in autopilot. We're going down the East Langs in Manchester. The lights are green, but hopefully we will hear a bit of traffic. The car is now driving itself. As you can see, we've got the two blue lines there. For a speed camera, so just making sure we're not going over the speed limit. Now I'm hoping that the, uh, the lights have stopped. Obviously this is, coming to a stop so I would expect the brakes to to actually fully stop but we'll see what happens here see how it feels so the car is braking but it is actually using a lot more region you can see that in the green bar there it's also braking as well we actually want to be in a little bit more start and stop traffic but uh, actually felt a lot better there it did feel I would say a lot smoother than normal you, you can usually feel the brakes kicking in so that's pretty good but let's see if we can find a bit more start and stop traffic so autopilot is now on and I'll let you know how this feels so usually as you would be driving with autopilot in this kind of slow moving traffic the car would brake fairly heavily. It does feel a little bit smoother. Now, of course, it, it wasn't like it was super harsh before, but you can see the green bar going up um, a little bit as we, we go to stop each time for the, uh, the cars in front. It, looks, it feels like it's leaving a little bit more space as well to almost preempt the, the regen. Yeah, and it definitely feels more like it's kind of rolling to a stop rather than getting close to the car and then stopping which is nice to see and it does mean you're going to retain some of that energy as well and it's going to go back into the battery so yeah not only is it quite handy for the driving it also means that you're actually going to be a little bit more economical when you drive as well so it's pretty good obviously i'll test this out a bit more over the next few weeks and let you know but now it's time to get some Krispy Kreme donuts So we're back after a little bit of testing and I've got to say, I actually think the regen makes quite a bit of difference when you're in that start and stop traffic. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you're new here, make sure to check out all my other videos about the Tesla Model 3 as I have a ton, everything from picking up the car to complete road trips going down to Cornwall and Norfolk. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, just check to see if you're subscribed because if you're not, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell as it really helps the channel out. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.